All right, for the last one, I'm oh, sorry, part C, um, we notice a couple of things. So we can rewrite these as equations first, which is y minus x plus 6 equals 0, and 6x plus 5y equals negative 7. So here I found x and y intercepts for both of them. For the first equation, x intercept and y intercept. For the second equation, x intercept and y intercept. So to find those, I plugged in 0 for x to find the y intercept, and then I plugged in 0 for y to find the x intercept. So the two points for the first equation are 6, 0, and 0, negative 6. So 6, 0 is right there. 0, negative 6 is down there. And then because this is a greater than or equal to, it has to be a solid line. So solid line going there, going there. And then 0, 0 is my usual test point as long as it's not on the line. I did that test right here. So 0 minus 0 plus 6 is greater than or equal to 0, which gives us 6 is greater than or equal to 0, which means that's a true statement. 6 is indeed greater than or equal to 0. So that means the origin is telling us the truth, so we should shade on the side of the origin. So all of this is shaded for the first line. For the second one, the intercepts are 0, comma, negative 7 over 5, which is right there. Negative 7 over 5 is negative 1.4. So 0, comma, negative 1.4 would be there. Below negative 1, but above ha the halfway point. And then the other intercept is negative 1.2, comma, 0, or negative 7 over 6, comma, 0. It's about negative 1.2. I think the actual value is like negative 1.666 repeating. So if we round it off to negative 1.2, that's very close to negative 1, but to the left of it. This is a dashed line because it's just greater than. So if I were to make a dashed line here, arrowhead, dashed line going the other way, now I pick the origin again as a test point because it's not on the line. That testing is done right here. I end up with 0 is greater than negative 7. That's a true statement. 0 is indeed greater than negative 7. So I shade on the side of the origin, which means all of this gets a circle. So now hopefully you recognize that this is not the solution for the both inequalities because that's where just the crosses are. This is just where the circles are, so that's not the region of overlap. This is where you have both the uh, circles and the crosses. So as a miniature graph, solid line going there, dashed line going here, and the solutions live up here.